Hi, everybody. I wanted to jump on here really quickly and give you an update on the P. Diddy situation and let you guys know how Little Rod's attorney's dark secret is making a bad situation even worse. But uh, let's get started. OK, so listen, we kind of uncovered this a while back that uh, Diddy pretty much was going to win the case. And some people couldn't handle that. They were like, no, Sherelle, you're lying. Da, 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 da. But and I told you. There are only a couple bloggers really following it the way that it's supposed to be followed. I believe Cassie. I believe her. But they got another element in here that is a bad seed. That's Tyrone Blackburn. And that's Little Rod's attorney. So after getting in trouble last week in which Judge Cote called him a clout chaser that is giving his information out to the media before he gives it to the judge. And even though he got sanctioned for doing this, he has upped the ante this week. Now, according to DJ Academics, he was approached by Blackburn. Lil Rod is capping. 100%. Full cap. These are straight up shakedown attempts that hold no merit other than to gas people up like myself that's going to cover it because we want to read salacious shit. They're using the media. I've never, listen, I'm a media entity, but none of these niggas pay my bills. I pay them my damn self. I'll play into your bullshit till a point I feel used. I'll play into your bullshit till a point I feel used. So if it, everyone's crediting his lawsuit to amping all this shit up, the feds ain't even talk to the nigga. Why? I think they know what I think I know. He's capping. He's just trying to get some bread. Yesterday, I get hit up. Random number. Calls my phone. Say, yo, act. So I get this call. Say, hey, what's up? Say, I'm the bodyguard of Christian Combs. Got some information you might want to know. Actually, I thought they were going to try to, if send me anything, send me something to vindicate him. But the person was, I didn't give me a name. Say, hey. We have audio of Christian Combs on the yacht with the young woman that was R-worded right before it happened. Now, let me tell you this. I was born at night, just not last night. The next thing they told me threw me for a loop. They said, so at first I was like, I thought it's happened on a yacht. Listen, because the person said they were in a studio. They said, we have a, we have a song that Christian Combs was recording at the time. I said, wait a minute, I thought this was on a yacht. They said, the yacht is in the, st the studio is in the yacht. I said, uh, okay, so what's this recording? They said, just to let you know, this isn't the recording where the girl is screaming. That's mentioned in Lawson. I'm like, okay, so what is this audio of? It's a audio of King Combs rapping to, and this is where I was like, they think I'm stupid. King Combs rapping to the beat of Cassie, me and you. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. You're telling me King Combs is on a yacht, pulls up his daddy's old girlfriend's, like, by the way, this would have happened a long time ago, so it would be before all these losses, but pulls up his daddy's old girlfriend's hot song saying, let me get the beat. Let me freestyle over it. And then says, oh, shit, I got the spirit of puffing me now. Let me go r words, this girl. That's next to me. Come on, bro. They say this song is playing in the background when just, no, I keep saying Justin. When King Combs is actually <laughs> woman and she's screaming. And here's the funny part. There's audio, which I'm like, who would record a woman screaming? The person says this to me. This what raises more red flags. They said, I think this would be very important content for you to have. And I say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll be interested in it. He said, what will you do for this piece of audio? I said, what would I do? So I said, um, nothing. Like, I, I, I. so my mind goes toward, I'm in media, I get, I get it. My mind goes to the other realm. I said, um, it seems like you're trying to solicit some compensation. Right. Seems like you want. Oh, act. You're down to pay for this. Right. I don't do the I'm a pay for exclusive audio shit. 
even if it's relevant to one of the biggest cases going on now and one of the most like hyped moments of my stream, I'm not gonna pay for it. Now, I'll tell you what I could do. That's what I told him. I could connect you. I have some great people at TMZ. The person says, no, we want you to have it. And I was like, well, that's odd. Well, if I think you want the money and I'm telling you I could get you the money and I offer it, let's get it to TMZ. Why well, turn that down? They said, no, we want you to have it. Then I said, why me? And I said, well, I'm gonna just be honest. I just don't do that. Then the person says, you know what? It's okay. We'll give the audio to you. He said, there's a lot more where that came from. And I might be fucking this up now. But something just didn't smell right. I'm sorry. They said, there's a lot more where that came from. Just keep this anonymous. What I think, that was an attempt and a weak attempt to try to continue to spin the media cycle that's really spurring on some of these lawsuits that I am now starting to believe carry no weight. They would have just sent it or sold it to TMZ. They just wanted to affect the black blogs. Then DJ academics start looking into Blackburn's background when he realizes that he's done this a number of times for the T.I. Tiny case, for the Nicki Minaj case, and for the Tiffany Haddis case. He's saying that Blackburn teamed up in the Tiffany Haddish case when she was getting flack for that video that she posted with Ari Spears. He tried to get Jason Lee to do the same thing that he was asking DJ Academics to do, which is start posting bad, salacious things about Tiffany Haddish. Then he stumbles across a tape that shows Jason Lee being blackmailed by Blackburn. Anyway, this is where Jason Lee comes in. Jason Lee and Tiffany Haddish are actually cool. And Jason Lee felt that he and his platform was about to be used to help extort Tiffany Haddish and he wasn't going to let it fly and he did some digging around it, which by the way, all of this even mirrors till now. Here we go. He's been extorting me because... There's a file by a Jane Doe that Tiffany Haddish assaulted her care, her kid and uh, that she was accused of child and grooming a 14-year-old girl and her 7-year-old brother. Now, Tiffany had said that the lawsuit is part of an extortion attempt. She said it in TMZ through her attorney, and I said it when I posted on my post. Survivors of sex assault, she's been sexually assaulted. Domestic abuse survivors, and she's a former foster kid, and she's somebody that's went through the system. And so I know her. I know her heart. Let me tell you who the attorney is for the family who was behind the extortion of Tiffany Haddish. Let me show you their picture. Tyrone Blackburn. Oh, interesting. Now, I'm just going to put this out because this is the first time the world is hearing this because he did it in a way, motherfucker. He did it in a way. Let me tell you how I do the Lord's work and how I find these receipts, honey. I did not file it, and I'm not their representative. He didn't file it because Jane Doe filed it on her own, but she got advised by somebody. And um, he's not their representative, but he didn't say he wasn't consulting them. A video, I mean, on an audio, and I recorded the conversation, and I'm going to play it for you tonight. Go ahead and play it. Okay, so Walter Mosley, my attorney's on the phone. So, and Tyrone Blackburn. So my my question, Tyrone, is: Did Jason Lee? Did you hear Jason Lee say, "Don't pursue this case for Tiffany in lieu of an interview with your client, Sabrina"? Did you hear that? I, no, 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 no. no. I, listen, Jason, you never said anything about interviewing Sabrina. Like I said before, and like I said to you before, before Walter joined the call. I never knew anything about an interview with Sabrina, so that quote in Rolling Stone is a lie. That did not come from me. I never said... This is Lil Rod's lawyer. This is the lawyer representing all the women in the T.I. case. The lawyer represent Jennifer Hu from the um, Nicki Minaj case. This is the person that was allegedly involved in the Tiffany Haddish thing, and this is the one from the new Christian Combs case that we're about to read. That's that. That, that, that Rachel Roundtree or whatever, Crabtree or whatever her name is, called me multiple times. I did not respond to any of them. Sent me multiple emails. I did not respond to any of the emails. I have all of them to prove it. Um, and I'm asking me for representing these kids, which I do not. Um, but, but during that conversation with you and Sabrina, 
it was made very clear to me that if I pursue this, that A, that you would attack the mother, and that B, Sabrina would drop me as an attorney because she doesn't want me to represent, she doesn't want to talk with her case and this case to get mixed up. That's what she, she said to me. And that's what it was. And that's so why I called my client and said, listen, I can't represent you because I just spoke to Jason Lee. I, I, I didn't know who you were at the time, by the way. When I spoke to you on the phone with Sabrina, I said, I just got a call from a guy named Jason Lee and Sabrina telling me that if I file the sleeping out of case, that he's going to drag you, which is the mother, and, and that Sabrina's going to drop me, so therefore I can't represent you. And that's what I said to the mother a year ago. So, so, so let me so let me understand this, because because context is very important to be very, very crystal clear, because you, you have a way of, of, of putting words together that completely are not accurate. One, let's be very clear that when I was on the phone with you and your client, which I thought was your client looping me into a call with her attorney to give you more background on a case that she didn't want you to take, I gave you details of how Tiffany was being extorted, how this and this and this was happening, how many times it has been thrown out, that Tiffany's went to the police. I gave you those details to help you. You then turned around and weaponize that information to make it look like I was trying to coerce you into not taking the case. I By the way, one of the reasons why why uh, Jason Lee is mad, that was so damaging for her career, she settled. She settled the lawsuit quietly. She paid out. We don't know how much, but she paid out. It worked. It was effective. I think he smelled from a mile away when he heard that Diddy paid out 50 million. What? I bet I could go find some other victims that you're going to give another 50 million. I mean, it's apparent that Blackburn is really a bad guy. And finally, it feels like mainstream America is finding that out. After accusations that this attorney was being too salacious with his court filings, I'm talking about Tyrone Blackburn. He's one of the lawyers representing Rodney Jones and Grace O'Markey in their lawsuits against Sean Combs, Christian Combs, and others. The United States District Court Judge for the Southern District of New York, Denise Cote, submitted a referral to the New York Federal Court Grievance Committee claiming that issues with Blackburn in five cases, she wrote, quote, significant resources have been spent by judges of the court and defendants named in actions he has filed to address glaring deficiencies in his filings. A referral to this court's grievance committee is warranted. She goes on to write, a reasonable inference from Blackburn's pattern of behavior is that he improperly files cases in federal court to garner media attention, embarrass defendants with salacious allegations, and pressure defendants to settle quickly. Indeed, his submissions to this court have been rife with disturbing allegations against the defendants and defense counsel. Now, other lawyers have also criticized Mr. Blackburn as well. Combs attorney Sean Holly alleged that Blackburn Ignored exonerating evidence, writing, quote, our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones' attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. Then attorneys for UMG, Universal Music Group, one of the defendants who are also being sued by Rodney Jones for their alleged participation and facilitation of the abuse and trafficking claimed by Jones, they argued, UMG, that the claims presented by Jones, were, quote, so offensively false. One of those lawyers, Donald Sakarin, said, quote, a license to practice law is a privilege. Mr. Blackburn, plaintiff's lawyer, has misused that license to self-promote, gratuitously, falsely, and recklessly accusing the UMG defendants of criminal behavior.